that real estate is a what? People to people business. Every day, all day long, inside out. Okay? It's always people to people business. You will spend hours getting lost in this stuff and it ain't worth doing at all. So be careful with that. Second, um, this is boring. <laughs> Technology is one of the hardest topics to teach because we have all sections of people from this is how we copy and paste to this is how we write the HTML code. And there's always every person in every group. So it's really hard to hit that broad spectrum without getting too we're going to go through all of that, and you're going to be bored, and you're going to be stressed out, and you're going to be like, okay? All right, so let's log in at mykw.kw.com. This is where everything starts. I'm going to tell you to do these ad fields. Come to me. Control panel is our sandbox. And I'll go down this road just one second. E Edge is Keller Williams Sandbox, okay? They built this sandbox. It's ours. KW owns it. They allow people to play in our sandbox. 
who are the people that are allowed to play in our sandbox at the moment? What is it? How big is that bunch of people from Mexico? Who we got plays in our sandbox? Who we got? Who still plays in our sandbox? Scott Luke plays in our sandbox. The one most of you probably don't know is Star for Ages, and he plays in the sandbox too. He's one of the kind of semi marketing guys. So all three of those we have marketing, DRM, the transaction management website. And then, I'm sorry, the database management website. Then you have transaction management, which is who still plays in the industry, and then Scott. So we kind of got three people that play in our sandbox at the moment. There could be others. There currently currently could be others that don't or something like that. So in that entire sandbox, you might have to build their product to play nicely with our sandbox. They had to custom build their, their interfaces to play with our, um, our EA system. Does that make sense? So let's talk a little bit about EA, the key website. The very first website you have is going to be defined on the technology tab. EA the key website. Where you can jump to administration. There you go. This launches the back office where you can get it pretty easy. Well, you can't get it pretty easy.
I can give you all this, and you can do it. Again, you can do as much of this as you want. And if you want to spend a lot of time on it, you can create as many web pages on this site as you want to. So you can come in and create one for you just got to get your city code in there. So um, I know the New York is a <coughs> neighborhood. I know. Um, Thank you. 
going to take long. I mean, that's only a few weeks. Now, this one is the EA just two. So, again, this is the first one. Sorry for being a little hard here on the little ones because they're doing an awesome job on this one. Um, but the, this first website, again, it can be great if you want to customize it, spend some time. You can add pages if you have a YouTube video. You can do a neighborhood property you can do a neighborhood tour, you can do a billboard tour, there's tons of stuff you can do with Pagespeed. You have unlimited page creation, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So you, you can really get as creative as you want to. It is free. Um, Rainco is a company that um, they started doing this a while back and they finally, they were actually state of the agents and they were just really good at techie stuff and they made a niche for uh, redesigning websites. And uh, they do a really good job. That's again, it's just Took me and apparently you and Nico just took took the thing and ran with it. So uh, what else is there? Um, Michael Michael Pryor has recently built the uh, Parker Corvette. The uh, oh, I'm thinking Michael Ward. Michael Pryor might actually be the the techie guy. I'm pretty sure he did some EA work and then uh, yeah, they built they built the Corvette for him.
would be about us page, so if you choose to get that about us or about me, you can see that that is added on this page all the way to the end. Um, so if I switch to about us, you'll just say, "Yeah, go fuck yourself." So I'll just go ahead. <laughs> um, so yeah, this page is probably the hardest part of the year because you can have it set up to just be called about us. The home page message that is all this stuff right here. So this is the default home page message that 100% valid from Associates is issued if they visit their website. So in order to change that, you can come in here and create a home page message. Uh, you can see in mine they the website is just the wrong fucking address. Just the wrong address. But that's the reason you guys get a nice clean update on the side on the home page when you get it set up. Got it? So you can add pictures. You can turn off like we talked about. You can still have the tweet. This is the default search box. If that, they turn search off, and now it's a menu. So you can search home page on that end. This is where you can do that in your home page message. Everything inside this box is hidden all the way down to the bottom. So you can come over here, go to your home page, and get that. All right, and then 2.0, these are your templates. You have a bunch of different templates to choose from. There's there's basic, um, there's lots of different colors and modeling that you can do. It's basically a different header, different color, basic top navigation for these people, basically top navigation. Um, if you want to, you can use a custom website. Uh, this is what my header looked like before they did it, so I just created this as a um, tweet specification in a box that I just kind of built in my head. Um, you can if you build other headers, you can tweak it without having to change the header. But 965 width by 2.5. So these blue images you can create. You can add a cap size. You can fill. You can fill those in and out. That's the cool thing. So when you do a custom, you can create these and drop down. You can also, um, this when you do it in color, you can do the same with font. This fat color is very little um, variation in there, but you do the same color with this default color scheme, or you can create your own on your own um, tweet on your own on this box right here. These are text overlays. Um, actually, I think this is the wrong way to look at it. These are all text, uh, actually that's text overlays. This is um, the previous text overlays that that you you edit those. Website title is on this one. That's that's where this is right here. Um, this is the scroll is going to get rid of the rest of the color and come over here. That text overlay is just going to come over here. Um, tagline that's another text that you can put in on there. Um, but so you can edit each one to get rid of it. This search um, the quick search that is this box. So if you want this little gray box to go away, you go to right here real quick, abbreviation gray, and that makes that go away. Um, you can have the site updated too. I don't do that because you can have that on there. I do just go to in our logo and go to all my workers. Um, pro marketing in there. This is the Twilio widget that you plug in so you can change this and that and all that stuff. That's the cool thing. Um, Signal Scope, they don't change this, but it's probably going to be called Signal Scope because that's what the site is going to look for when you come in. Um, I did turn off the Team A section because I don't think I have that set up on the Facebook. I think that's something I would have to look at. But this
this section right here, the manner that they were like, this is not the way that we're going to do it. It might be a better way to look at that because it would make a little bit more sense if it was printed in pen. Or if you had a little notebook. Because what I did is I actually just threw the notebook in my drawer and made some stuff on it. I just wanted to make sure that I got the notebook that I was going to use. Um, under templates, type template, this is under section two, whatever that might be, templates. And under there, we're going to put custom. And we're going to put font color. And there's the font color by color. You can kind of like get creative with the colors and things like that by font. You can create your own. I do recommend you change the font size on each of these items. So I keep the little kids font.
what can happen is property starts to power in, overlap, and then the GR starts to power in. There are two different products, but they're the same property.
the only reason is that they were actually the owner of the museum. And back in 2000, this was like a couple of years ago, that there was, everybody was like, I want information, let me put my name in a box. And they did, and we got all these people. And now it's crazy. Nobody wants to put their name in a box. <laughs> so it's really not that great unless you just, you can customize it if you want to, but it's really better to have a really good value product. You better be offering at least a, you know, one quarter. Not even something, but maybe a one quarter of a museum price. Because that's all they can do is just sell things. They can't take home pictures of anything except raggedy pictures. No matter where you go, it's for sale in Walmart. And then they'll be there for sale in Walmart. And that's all you can do. This can be a registration for somebody wanting to know about finding a realtor, finding a home. Exactly. So then it's, then it's to the respondents and being able to get back to them because now when people register, they get what they want on Kick because their systems are automated. In this case, it's really a manual system. You're going to get notifications. You've got a new lead that says, uh, they want a search for home. Great. By the time you log in and set that up, they're already searching somewhere else. Uh, so it's pretty antiquated. You might be using it for like a lender's one to you know set yourself a kind of thing, but there's not much to that. But it's you cannot change it. You can't really change it much at all. You can change the name on it. That's really about it. That's the deal. So the name can have good value for sure. Instead of other auto responder. This is the end all beat all if you were to do this on your own type of website. You can do it much more simply if you want. There is a lot of really good stuff to go over in this class. So if anyone has questions on that, we'll talk on into the next one. That's where they populate all the content in the page. Yeah. So I mean, my profile, you know, it's at you know different addresses. It's pretty straightforward to make sure that you're you're right there. So if you the white page is pretty straightforward. You might go to your your info, my leads, and then on your IDF you can just click that and it will pop up the page. It's pretty plain and straightforward. Realistically, it's not even, it's not as much online as I think. I've not found as much as you think about how much you're uh, going to event and so on. It's it's just a different thing. It's just a lot more straightforward to make sure that you're getting the right thing. Quite often, you see most people in the search bar, especially if you search in uh, order from what they think you should be searching for by name. I found that being able to get a hold of somebody like me on the phone is a force even. <laughs> All right, so that is a little bit about you and your team. All right, and that is it. All right, to get into your other website, this is going to be your local PDA sandbox. So you can click on your lead. That's what you're just going to get into. And the name of your lead, you can send it in at desk, or you can send it in here, or you can send it in to our sandbox. This, this platform that's loading right now is what it actually owns and knows my phone is on, which is that US platform. All right, once it brings up, what you see now, and let me, let me just take just for a second here. 
I'm a VX Pro subscriber, so you'll see all these little things with flags here. Those are only VX Pro to get those. Um, the basic four functions of this that are free are, are just fine. It's essentially a data center. It's a place to keep your data. It's a place to put your content. It's a place to keep all of it. Because the day you stop selling your last house and you decide, you know what, I'm getting out of real estate and I'm going to sell my data, what are you going to sell? Are you going to sell your yard signs and your face on them?
right? And here is your cute little Gmail address that I can give to you on all those profile sites that nobody ever uses. Mine is at my password domain.
Lord's right hand and seated him with my right hand. Here's a spot for the throne of our glory. And we can put somebody back there. Put that throne mover or whatever. Uh, that thing will carry them away. So whatever you think you're going to do, you'll do them. You'll show off. Uh, and you don't have that much faith.
Well, in terms of what they say, what they do, first they say that they're able to obtain it. We don't use it. It doesn't mean only use the link. If they said, I can listen to the link and I read stuff, but then they use the link. And by obtain a listing, does it count? Does it take from the day we email all the new properties that just hit the market? No, that's not what it takes. No, it doesn't. Why drive up a listing list if you could drive up a deal that fast? So you just created a contest, and you could actually go ahead and do more action and create a listing list for them. You can uh, add a listing list. So you can put in your criteria, hey, can I listed that 300,000? And you can listen to someone else and set that thing. And it's going to send you an email every day to every new home in that area that month. And it looks like it comes from you. It's your creative name. It looks like it. Maybe I didn't want to call it that. I just had the listing list kept. I don't know. Maybe Joe Perry is colonial. I don't want a colonial. I'm like, I can't tell him not to send me colonial. <laughs> but he would get an email for every day about properties, and we would respond because he was getting those properties every day. And we would go, I know you chose the wrong type of uh, for colonial, but I thought I'd send you a criteria. So I was getting that along with price. So that's what's good. The list, listing list is something that they want. So it's not me answering and saying, hey, you should just call me. It was they, they, they're getting information that they actually need.
Thank you. 
I use this form, which is this form here for gravitational free, and then I do say stop you. Uh, you were born a million and days ago. So stop you kind of refers to that. I'll probably stop you here in the video in just a little bit. But uh, it, it was so much easier this time. Dot loop's getting better and better, and it's grown in leaps and bounds, and I've, I'm still trying to convert a couple times to show you a lot of feedback on that last one, last stop you. So if I want to do circular loop, you can see these are sort of slowly done and then not officially but complete and so this the progress of this red circle is excuse me while, is based on the task list you created so if you don't have a task list it's just going to be a, a white circle no matter what like so for example um, let's look at this one I use it for um, making sure all my paperwork's in I have my paperwork so you can stop it as if that's just it this form is similar to this form. So down below I have a task list for all the things that need to be done. So here's all this is all the documents for this, so all the paperwork and stuff. But then down below I have a task list. So here's my buyer contract and closing. Well I just have a little checklist that says go to closing, go to signature for earnest money for this order, copy the contract for arrangement, so all of these things. So then I can I can check or uncheck them, I can assign them to different people. Um, we usually, I usually try to get people when they check it off to have a, a list of them so it doesn't mess up. I usually have them try to admit this so they can, um, so they can just hit, they can hit the stop button. They can go over this and they can edit it.
they have created a complete circuit split on that issue. So I'm not going to get into that. And don't, you know, see, I, it, 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 right, exactly right. We were doing some split data, but we're not going to have time to get into that. But, well, it's, a, it's, it's not bad, but we need to keep it in compliance and try to be as, as clean as we can. Because it gets pretty easy to, on good days, and that's the day you should have given up on it. <laughs> versus just going for cheap spare equipment. Um, once everything is in here, in your live hand graphic, you should be able to get to see it. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, so let's just do that. Then you can use the split. We use Dropbox the entire time. This is the last thing we use. I use Dropbox to keep a list. Basically, Dropbox folder to me is the same as old Google Drive. I keep every scrap of document and everything in there that I need. Exactly. And so then when I need that, when I get all I need, all my forms is in my in my folder in Dropbox. Then I just kind of update it and do or the admin to be able to review it. Yeah. But then that way I can give it to them for review at the same time. Because they're not going to look at my Dropbox. They don't want that. actually probably fine because this is for uh, security for seven years and they set it in one Google server that looks protected. I don't know what's happened. I think it's just, it's pretty much impossible to ever take any kind of damage with that data or any kind of file. You can archive it, but if you add it here, it'll never be taken. It's there. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you, you got it. It may not be visible to you, but it's always there. It'll never go away. So that is a very brief